Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a new art journaling page. It's an intuitive art journaling page that brought me lots of healing. So just sit down, relax and enjoy. I have a journaling page that's a little bit different than my usual. I mean, the techniques are the same, but the feeling that is being shared here is a little bit different. It was healing not only for myself, but basically I'm hoping that it will bring you some healing and love and everything that comes with it because I really feel that from the response that I've got from my other emotional journals, I really feel that a lot of people that are suffering and just want to bring in some light through this suffering as much as I can. Something you don't know about me is that I actually studied to be a healer, a homeopathic doctor actually, and I basically never practiced because just life got in the way, or if you want to say it, things happened. But I am so glad that I actually found another type of healing through art, and this has brought me so much joy. And this is basically what I want. When I was making this page, I felt so much happiness and joy, something that a lot of people want to feel. And I just want to try to kind of bring that feeling for some for everyone so you can feel that as well. So just sit down, enjoy. Um, I did prep my page with white gesso, uh, as you saw before, and now I'm using some Nouveau Mousse. This is a Tonic Studio hexagon shaped stencil, and I'm basically just adding some Nouveau Mousse and then with a baby wipe, just running it through the Nouveau Mousse. And I took a couple colors, I will list them below, I can't remember which colors, I, the, the names of the colors, but I will list them all below so you know which colors are used. And I'm just basically rubbing them. I wasn't, there was it's not a very complicated technique it's not something that I put a lot of thought into I really felt that it was kind of like an intuitive healing the same way that I'd done before intuitive art but with this time much lighter and not as uh, heavy and sad as it was before and um, basically I just wanted to touch into something that one of my viewers talked about and basically when I put my other uh, art journal out there she was talking about ugliness and suffering and this is something many of us experience I experienced illness at a very young age and I suffered a lot through the years and I can relate to what she was asking and I know many people suffer as well as they commented on those videos she asked a very very valid question how do you move on from the ugliness she was referring to two things one of them was referring to the ugliness of how you feel the frustration and the sadness or the suffering and she was also talking specifically about how do you when you make something ugly or you're making something that you think it's ugly and you're your own worst critic how do you move on how do you m make it beautiful how do you move on from that and that's something that i really wanted to address in this particular art journal because this art journal really felt like it was bringing me light and something that we need to bring into our work is light and i don't mean only light as a, as the color or like you know light of the shade of what we feel but lightness of of that heaviness that we feel all the time but it's really hard to do that and for me I have to balance between the two and kind of find a medium that will bring both and I don't mean medium as a medium of art but a balance between what is heavy and what is not and it's really hard when you're suffering to actually come out and bring that lightness into something so heavy so I'm really hoping that with this you can feel a little bit lightness and just sit there and enjoy just the process because the art journaling process itself is supposed to bring you that lightness and even if you don't like something as I said in the other video that I will link below as well uh, you can burn it you can tear it you can do everything you want with it you don't have to actually just keep it and as you saw with my other journal I took it out and I actually removed it because I did not want it to be but this one that brings me so much light and so much happiness even though it's just a simple simple art journal I'm really 
focusing on just simple things using a stencil and rubbing it and just having fun so number one is having fun with it experimenting just go for it just play it doesn't really matter if you make mistakes I've I've made a video about making mistakes it doesn't really really matter if you make mistakes or not that's just part of the fun and that will bring light to something that is heavy that will bring light to something that is suffering and yeah yeah the suffering might not go away but think about it as winter I did this layout and then I just had some snowflakes lying around and it made me think of winter and winter is something that most of us really just dislike. Some people really love it and love doing winter sports but I'm just not a fan of winter. But there is beauty in everything. There is beauty in the winter the same way there is beauty in all the suffering. I mean of course I wouldn't say that suffering is beauty. But there is something about suffering that either brings people together, bring fa brings family together, brings love to other people. And I am. This is what it is. If you want to know what is suff what is the opposite of suffering is love. And love brings this. What I'm doing here by putting these snowflakes is bringing some light and bringing some love to all of you that want to feel that. And this might not make sense, um, but there is something in therapy, in art therapy, that most people don't realize and I'm not an art therapist at all but I, I've seen how art has helped me in therapy how it helps me to heal many things that I wasn't able to heal and the snowflakes you look at the beautiful snowflakes how beautiful they are in the winter that is some some beauty that you cannot take away from the winter yes you hate the coldness yet you hate everything you're freezing but if you isn't it nice to just sit there in a warm home seeing a beautiful scenery of snow falling those beautiful snowflakes and you're sitting there warm and cozy with a fireplace i mean that's just feeling just think of something beautiful and do what matters most and basically that was my message for this do what matters most because the most that matters is for me, I cannot speak for other people, but for me, it's having a family, having my health, and having love surrounding me. And when you find those things, you really find healing. So then, yes, you can move on. You can move on from the ugliness. So I'm not saying that you will not have suffering every day or every other day or every week, but you will find some happiness you will find love surrounding you and you will really see that that's all that really matters i was so overly emotional talking about this that i forgot that i used soft matte gel from prima to actually glue the snowflakes and basically i just glued them like decoupage nothing special then i took some white gesso and just created a few splatters in the background um this sentiment that I used I printed it out of my printer and used gel to basically glue it so I mean just to recap what I did but it really loved how the Nuva Moose brought lightness into this and it just made everything look really really special so I just want to end up by saying that I really got inspired by this intuitive art healing that I really feel I should be doing more often and I will do more of these journals just because I really feel that everybody should go through this process and really bring some light and healing into their lives and if this video helped you then please 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 share it with your friends on social media share it on Facebook share it on any type of place that you think will help somebody because if we can help each other to heal then that's just one amazing thing we're doing for peace in this world and that makes all the difference just one step so please share 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 that's all that matters just to help somebody that makes all the difference thank you so much for watching see you real soon bye